So we've got this real problem with safety down at the plant. And in response, well, we basically went nuts. Safety speeches, safety memos, safety banners, safety buttons. But even after all that, we still had accidents. Stan, our director of safety, fell and broke his leg while hanging a Think Safe banner. And Nancy stabbed herself with one of our safety buttons and had to get a tetanus shot. So then we had this idea. Well, why not visit the other company across town? I mean, they do similar business, but unlike us, they haven't had a lost time accident since, I don't know, the, the Civil War or something. So we're walking around this uber safe facility when their big boss says, well, safety buttons. We don't have safety buttons. We don't have safety banners or speeches either. Just some, some rules and a good record. Suddenly, a horn honks. Seems I've stepped across this yellow line painted on the floor, and a, a guy driving a forklift is honking at me. Plus, five people are pointing and shouting, hard hat, hard hat, and a secretary nearby holds up a sign, danger, hard hat's required. Then a janitor bangs his mop and bucket and points at his hard hat. Now, I don't have a hard hat on, okay? So I step back across the line, things eventually <laughs> settle down, but with all that pointing and chiding and banging and honking and, well, it cut my visit short. You know, you know, come to think of it, I never found out how those guys kept such a good safety record. It just must be lucky, I guess.